Aminita of My Duke and I podcast and wherever you are in the world. Hope you're having a marvelous day. And if you're seeing the show for the very first time and you like the show, please subscribe, like, and share and hit the notification bell so when an episode comes out, you will be the first to know. Well, um, it has certainly been an eventful day <laughs> let me just put it that way i came out and i felt like going out on a little picnic and i said i'll do my little video out and about you know a little different scenery for you guys but the bees my dear the bees had a different plan for me i had a burger and a soda and they were all buzzing around me I noticed nowadays the bees they like meat bees used to like sweet things now they they're flesh eaters <laughs> I that's what I noticed about them let me know what you guys think in the comments um, but anyways um, we saw Doria today and um, she was at an event that took place on Saturday and I am telling you who would have thought taking a picture with Kim and Chris Kardashian would create such a stir. Now, I did not have any problems with the picture at all. Doria can take a picture with whomever she pleases. Okay? Now, one of the problems that I've noticed that people have with Kim that literally bothers me is that they behave like they have no fault or no sin. Now, there's a scripture that says, He who have no sin, cast the first stone. Now, the problem with Kim, she's had her situation, she's done things, like everybody else, but they do not want Kim, the public, do not want Kim to evolve or to be redeemed from her mistakes and I have a problem with that I will not sit by and vilify another woman like that that woman has four children she's trying to raise and no matter what they throw at her they can't they kept on bringing up her past and she just continues smiling and carrying on there's a lot to say about that. Nobody's perfect. She's made her mistake. Her mother has made a mistake. But are we going to chastise her for the rest of her life? Even though she's doing so much good today. It's like the person who committed a crime and went to jail and they served their time and they come out and nobody wants to give them a chance to rehabilitate. Imagine how that feels. Or it is that person who was a drug addict and they're no longer on drugs. They've cleaned up their life. And let's say they had children should we punish them and not give them back their children even though they've cleaned up their life why can't we give kim a chance why should we hold her past against her it is just not fair think about it think about if you were in that position and you had made a mistake would you want that mistake to be held against you for the rest of your life. It is just not fair. And what I will never join in with is the smearing and the vilifying 
of another woman, especially a young mother that is trying her best. Not because she has money, that means that she doesn't have feelings. Not because she gets to go home to a 10 bedroom home, means that she doesn't have feelings. She hears and she sees, and it does hurt. The other day I saw an article where this fool on Instagram, he was talking about how um, Tom Brady should never date Kim and how he should stay far away from her. And he listed all the different people in the world that Tom Brady should date except for Kim. Kim is a human being. She's a human being first. Okay? So not because somebody made a mistake that we have to hold that thing over the head for the rest of our lives. And not for our life, I mean, <laughs> the rest of their lives. It is just not fair to them. And Doria can take a picture out with whomever she feels like. It is not their business and I think what was lost in translation here is the fact that the event that they were at was for a very good cause these people were raising money for people who are trapped at the border and beyond the border providing uh, those monies were raised to provide services for them. It's five years now since this charity organization is in existence. It is, this is about humanity, that's its name. And we all have memories of when these immigrants, and I'm a, I was an immigrant, I'm still an immigrant, I remember coming here. And let me tell you something, it is not easy coming here and you have nothing, you, you don't have family, um, you're trying to make a way for yourself, you're trying um, to make a better life for yourself, you have to go into homes and clean, okay? You're, it's not rosy for these people. So, and the, also too, these people would be never living their places, their countries, if it was rosy there. They're coming here because they want a better life and to give them some type of dignity while they're here. This charity was raising money for them. Okay? Um, in 2022, Actual Foundation raised money for that same organization they got, um, you know, together and they got how many gifts for these young families and children at the border. So there's a connection there and it got lost in translation with people focusing on Kim, not giving her a break, looking at her with Daria as opposed to what they were doing there. I don't think there's anything wrong or there is some type of bad look for Doria and Chris and Kim to take a picture. The other day when um, Ellen DeGeneres and Portia DeRossi renewed their vows, Harry and Meghan was at the wedding and we could clearly hear Harry's voice. And who was officiating the wedding? The wedding was being officiated by none other than Chris Jenner. Okay, so uh, do you not go places because a certain person is there that society dim is and somebody that is undesirable or somebody that is an outcast or somebody that shouldn't integrate with others think about
about it. It's just terrible how we treat others. It's just terrible. It's terrible. And I'm not casting any judgment at anybody. I myself have, I think, some type of bias to everybody has those type of implicit biases in them. So for me to say I probably don't have those biases, I do because it is just something that is unconscious in us, okay? So I'm not, um, you know, saying that I don't have issues myself. I, ju I, I just don't like how Kim has been treated over the years. I just don't like it. And um, I just don't like people bashing other women for mistakes that they have made and not giving them an opportunity to redeem themselves. If everything that we do, we would judge that never given a chance, we would be in a lot of trouble. So it's just not fair. Now we saw a sighting of Harry recently and um, Harry is remaining fit, honey. <laughs> and we just say with all the delicious meals that Harry is eating out in Montecito over there, you know, he has to make sure that he gets his workout in so that he remains fit. That's really good. I myself need to put myself in a gym <laughs> and lose some pounds. I've been fighting these pounds for the ages. Harry, you need to give me some tips. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, we saw him out there. You know, he went and do his exercises and what have you. And he looked like he really worked up a storm. You saw his, um, you know, his t-shirt that he was wearing was, you know, wet. So definitely, he definitely had a, most likely a vigorous workout. So those pictures were nice to see. And then we have Harry again. I'm telling you, the Sussexes are going to be so busy in the near future. I mean, the 30th, let's not forget, which is Wednesday. Um, the Heart of Invictus is going to launch. That's going to be dropped, honey, on Netflix. Okay? So don't miss that. Set your alarm and um, make sure you put, your, you put it as something on your to notify yourself of when that show comes on. I normally do a reminder. So make sure to do something like that because we're going to watch them. We're going to make sure those ratings go up, go up in the roof. We want to get those watch minutes in for Harry. Okay, so that's coming out. Heart of Invictus, looking forward to that. And that was based on the 2022 Invictus Games at the Hague. Again, we all know that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, we saw Harry and Meghan on the Jeep and all kinds of things, but you know, it's really not going to be about that. It's just going to be following those five individuals or six individuals, not to show off the number and how they prepare, uh, how they prepared for um, those games and um, to look at their, you know, their life and their family and so on. So we're going to get to see how they prepare. We're also going to get a uh, peek into their their personal lives so you know that's just a wonderful thing for these people I'm just like I'm telling you what those games do for these individuals the servicemen and veterans of the armed forces and um, after that Harry is going to go off to um, to the UK okay so he's gonna step back in the UK and um, he's going to go to the Well Child Award where he's going to give a speech. Okay, so we're looking forward to that. And it's always delightful to see Harry there. He's, he lits up the faces of these young, um, you know, young people. And, um, you know, for uh, just a moment, they get to take their minds of all their troubles and so on that includes the children as well as the parents the parents are celebrated so that's just wonderful to see how harry and megan see the kinds of things that they're connected to that's why i'm such a big fan of them and that's the reason why i want to 
champion or spotlight and amplify what they're doing. It's nice, you know, to talk about them and stuff like that, but it's also, you know, their personal lives and stuff, but it's also this rewarding as well to talk about their charity um, involvements and, um, you know, how they're making a difference in other people's lives. So looking forward to that. And then on the 9th through the 16th, ooh, hmm, Harry's going to have a birthday during that time. Wow. Harry's birthday is on September 15th. Ooh, let me ask Siri. Let me just, I know it is. Siri, when is Harry, Prince Harry's birthday? See, September 15th. So let us not forget that Prince Harry is going to have a birthday during the time that he is in Germany, Dusseldorf, Germany. So the Invictus Games is scheduled for the 9th through the 16th. I will get up early in the morning and try to report on that. And um, looking forward to it. Harry is going to be there for the opening ceremony. And as reported, Megan is going to be there later on. And she's also going to do something with, um, you know, the, do they, they don't call them athletes, the competitors. Yes, the competitors. So, um, looking forward to that. It's going to be a blast through and through. So, I'm really excited about the whole thing. Okay. Mm hmm. Gonna see a girl. Harry's gonna be out there doing great things. Hey, service is universal, honey. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Service is universal. But anyways, on that note, take care. And I will see you on the next video. Guys, also too, don't forget to um, subscribe to my other channel where I'm going to bring you information on the other royals over there in the United Kingdom. I do not want to mix them up with what Harry and Meghan is doing here in the United States. I want that type of royalty to be distinct from the other royals <laughs> that is in the United Kingdom. I will put the link in the um, in the comments so that you can see and you can subscribe and you can watch some of the videos and the more you watch and like those videos is the more the channel grow. Okay, so that's how we're gonna get it done. Okay, or so I'm just gonna have to come back over there because I cannot maintain too and nobody's watching over there. Okay, so anyways, take care and um oh I cannot wait to bring my camera and my lighting and everything back to downstairs. It's been like oh it's too much of a chore to go up and down. Uh, that's one thing I don't like upstairs and downstairs houses for. I like a ranch where everything is on the same floor. That's the best way to live. Sometimes you feel lazy to even go downstairs and get yourself a cup of water, right? <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> that's my new statement nowadays. Okay then, so bye. Take care.